Howdy, hey. How are you doing, guys? And girls, I'm sorry. Today, I'm going to be playing High Pixel Sky. I'm, 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 I mean, I'm going to be teaching out of Fruit Berries, bro. In case you don't know who Fruit Berries is, then I don't know where you're watching this video. But I'm going to be teaching you how to do this bridge. Yeah, that wasn't bad. For some reason, I've had a lot of requests to make this particular video. Nobody cares. Anyways, I'll just cut to the chase. Now, Fruit Berries, he does it in such a way to where he moves his crosshair like that. I don't know how to do it that way. The way I do it, right? My crosshair stays completely still. I mean, look, I'm not moving it at all. Look at the hand cam. It's completely... Yo, I actually made it. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, this bridging is all about rhythm. 100%. So look at the up-down motion. You know, of course, I'm jumping. But when I'm going up, I place the first block. And when I'm going down, I place the second one. And this is the mechanic that is constant across the entire bridge no matter how far you go so essentially what i'm saying is if you can place two blocks you can place much more if you can if you can just nail the first two blocks you can place much more now on the subject of crosshair placement i don't have a specific place where i always put my crosshair i just go off of memory like you know with god bridge you try to line it up with what the second pixel or something like that i don't know i don't know how to god bridge it's not like that with this bridge, really. It doesn't matter as much. If you had to place your crosshair in a specific area, I would recommend, assuming that you're standing right here on the front of the block, and you're looking two blocks ahead of you, crosshair should be at around the fourth or fifth pixel. And uh, that's, that's usually where I end up placing my crosshair. I guess it does matter, because if you're looking like this, if your crosshair is placed like this, you have much less surface area. And so I have less surface area than usual here. But if I if I look forward more and like instead of this I I looked right here, I have more surface area. So I guess it does matter in that regard. Just find what's comfortable for you. And then past that it doesn't really matter at all. Alright. So what else should I talk about? There's multiple ways to get into the bridge. Like a lot of times if I'm filming like the Sky Wars video, I'll get into it by like starting some block placements like that. So I rarely ever actually just start on the block like that because I usually have some other way of starting it. But if you if you have to start like this, then just put your crosshair where it needs to be or just put it where it's comfortable for you. Again, it doesn't really matter too much. And unlike most bridging methods where you start here, like speed bridge or like breeze you're not gonna start at the edge of the block right here you're gonna you're gonna stand right here and you're just gonna go into it and start that up down motion you know i suppose you could just practice placing two blocks at first because again as i said that's that's what's constant across the entire bridge you can place two blocks you can place much more and then you could try three but this this particular bridging goes in a pattern of twos as i was saying before so Trying three might not make that much sense. So four makes much more sense. But yeah, just try to do, uh, just try to get further and further, you know. And the trick is, there is no trick. There is no magical trick that's gonna make this easier. You just have to practice. Now, if I could direct your attention to my keystrokes right here, I know they're tiny. You can see that I'm holding down S, of course. But I'm letting go and tapping it every, it should be every two blocks. Because again, this, this bridge goes in a pattern of twos. So it goes tap, 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 tap. You should be holding down your spacebar and holding down your S. But with your S round every two blocks, yeah, you're going to be letting go of that S and tapping it again. The reason we do this is since it's a pattern of twos, we tap S every two blocks. So it basically resets the process. As I said, if you can place two blocks, you can place much more. Let's say, let's say I didn't tap S and I just held S down, this would happen. No longer a pattern of twos, it's constant, you know? So 
That's all that is. It's just resetting. Kind of in the way as if you're PvPing someone, you're tapping W to, to reset your sprint, you know? Now, there are variants to where all you would need is just two blocks. Like, for example, let's say... Let's say there's a platform over there and I'm trying to land on it, but just jumping and block clutching normally isn't going to work. What I'll do is something like this, right? Because it's just, it's so simple. It increases your reach exponentially. There's actually someone in the comment section that asked me to make a tutorial on that. So I'll just explain quickly how to do that. Usually you're going to combo it in with other block placements like that. So I'm just holding down a and s to, to go sideways of course looking down at where i need to place a block and just one two one two one two one two you know you just get that rhythm and then and then you get good enough to where you can jump so if you only know how to do the one two but you don't know how to jump to where you want to be it's not going to do anything for you so you just got to learn how to so you just got to learn the timing how to place the blocks and then how to uh block clutch i suppose Yes, yeah, so that's really about it for the tutorial. I mean, as I said, there's no trick to make this easy. So yeah, if you want to do it, just go and practice. Just remember everything I said. And uh, I'll put chapters in the description so you can skip to each individual part of the bridge or section of the bridge if you want to learn quicker. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you some other time.